I'm live in Brooklyn at the 10th Annual Children's Sports and Fitness Expo. As you can see, there's so much going on from tennis to Zumba to fencing. It's been the ultimate calorie burning day. Hundreds of children came out to the Boys and Girls High School to enjoy a day filled with activities. They got the chance to experience while also learning the benefits of a healthy lifestyle. For the kids, they love hip hop, so you know, just to give back to them, this is what I'm teaching them today. So we have a component of um, healthy cooking and nutrition, where is it? We actually do a hands-on to let them see and taste what it is that they need to be doing to stay healthy and, and to not become obese. I'm looking forward to um, having, um, like, owning a place like this to help everybody else learn how to be healthy. Events like this are not common in urban urban communities, but have slowly been making progress in the last few years. Parents got the opportunity to expose their children to a new wide variety of physical activities. You know, here in the United States, Afro-Caribbean dance is lost. Um, they do a lot of African, but not Afro-Caribbean. So I want to bring it back and make sure that people be aware, and especially the young ones. I came out here to exercise and have some fun. And he discovered a lot of games he has never seen before or known about, like the golf, and the tennis that he is now his favorite, he never knew about those, so he, he got to know about those ones today. Anytime you see something that gets your kid out the house and doing something constructive, constructive and positive, you should be involved. Vincent Ferguson, CEO and founder of the Children's Sports and Fitness Expo, started this event with a vision to change the way children feel about health. It began as an idea that turned into an annual success. Look, what do I look forward the most? It's basically seeing the smiles and the faces on the kids and knowing that they're going to have a lot of fun and they're going to learn something because we make it a requirement for the kids not only to participate in the sports activities but also in the nutrition clinics and the health screenings. So now kids are going to come here and the parents are going to know if their kid has a problem with their vision, a problem with their, their dental problem, all right, they make it mandatory. So they have to try these different um, health screenings. So their learning is educational, beneficial to the whole family. The obesity rate has nearly tripled in the past 30 years in young adults. Programs like these give children a fighting edge to help reduce childhood obesity. What do these children think of this event today? We love it! Well, there you have it. In Brooklyn, I'm Sandy Ibrahim.